Welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we will discuss the new Mail Server Stats module in the CWP Admin Panel. PostFix is the highly efficient and highly secure mail transport agent previously known as vMailer, with development supported by IBM. CWP is proud to release a new Mail Server Stats module, which utilizes the PostFix Log Entry Summarizer. To access it, simply navigate to the email submenu in the sidebar and select Mail Server Stats. This module is designed to provide a quick, graphic overview of PostFix activity, with enough detail to give Mail Server admins warning of any potential trouble spots. To get started, click the Filter By drop down menu and select the mail log you want to review. Note that the mail log entry without a numeric identifier is the mail log that is currently in use. Since this is an active log, the stats for it must be generated each time you open it. If the mail log file is very large, then the analysis and building of the stats, reports, and graphs can take some time. Older mail logs that are not in use anymore are identified by a numeric identifier. The first time you open them, the module will analyze the log file create the reports and graphs, which depending on the size will take some time, but then CWP will cache the reports. This will result in much faster loading times the next time you review the stats for these retired mail logs. For now, let's select a retired mail log that has already been cached. Reports produced include emails received, delivered, forwarded, deferred, bounced, and rejected and these can be viewed in both graph form or pie chart format. By clicking on the various reports on the side, you can exclude them from the pie chart to show various custom views. We also have pie charts and graphs for bytes received and delivered recipients and senders, and recipient hosts and domains, and sending hosts and domains. And these are also represented in both pie chart and table graph form. And just like the pie chart above, we can click on the various report indicators to customize these pie charts as well. Under the various tabs, we can easily view the per-day traffic summary, including side-by-side -side comparison for multi-day logs. You can also zero in on a specific day by clicking the Date button, and the graph will update to show you the details of that specific date. And again, by clicking on the various report indicators, we can customize our chart to show the various features that we want displayed. Next, you can also view the reports per time hourly traffic summary, which shows the traffic summaries for each hour of the day, or in the case of multi-day mail logs, the average traffic for each hour of the day. And like our other graphs, this can also be customized by clicking the various report indicators to customize the chart to your specific needs. The delivery domains. These may be sorted by number of messages sent by each domain, amount of bytes in all messages from a domain, number of defers for each domain, average delivery delay, maximum delivery delay, and sorted alphabetically by sending host or domain. Likewise, the Domain Received tab allows you to sort by the received message count, amount of bytes in all messages received by a domain, and alphabetically by receiving host or domain. Under the Sender's Details tab, we can quickly view the message count and size per email account, as well as use the sort and search functions. And likewise, under the Recipient's Details tab, we can easily view the message count and size per email account, as well as use the sort and search functions where necessary. And finally, under the Messages tab, we can view a summary of messages deferred, rejected, and bounced which can each be sorted by total or detail. And that's how easy it is to use the new Mail Server's stats module in CWP. 
I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.